greetings. Thank you for joining us in good numbers for today for this webinar. I am Abhay Kapoti from Manupatra. I'll be the one who will be introducing to you this webinar session. This is this will be conducted by Dushyant from RT. Um, so just a brief introduction about Manupatra. So we are the oldest legal tech company in India. We started in 2000 as a legal database provider. Since then, we have come a long way. We have multiple products today for contract management, litigation management, compliance management, IPR management. So the idea behind this webinar series came like we have been interacting with a lot of corporates. We have, we have been asking like, what is the existing tool that we are using for managing contracts or compliances? So most of the times the answer comes that we are using spreadsheets or we are using Excel. So we want to target that particular audience, like why spreadsheets are not enough in terms of monitoring a complex in a dynamic world that is of compliance today. Why Excels are not a good tool to manage this uh, system. Uh, on top of that, what we'll be focusing on that how RBI and these other legal updates, and especially there is a notification that came in 31st January, where all the, like the mid-tier and the higher-tier NBFCs are asked that they should have an SaaS-based tool. The RBI again found that they are using spreadsheets to monitor their compliances, which is not appropriate. So my colleague Dushyant will be taking you through the system. He'll be going deep into the notification. What are the different directions that were given by RBI? And what are the possible solutions that you can think uh, for us as to what other features that you should be looking for and uh, we'll be taking your queries. We have also our compliance team on this call. So any queries are there, please feel free to drop them in the chat box so that we can take it at the end of the session. Uh, thank you. We should over to you. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, my name is Dushan Singh from Manupatra. I'll be taking you all of you through the session. So this session is all about the compliances that are being managed manually. And the RBI's uh, <coughs> guidelines suggest that these are not supposed to be do done manually because there are many uh, manual errors occurring, as you know about the Paytm case as well. So they were, there were many non-compliance from their end. So RBI has put a ban on them on the Paytm banking, right? So that is why this session is very important. So we'll be taking up your queries as well. I'll just cover the RBI guidelines first, and I'll tell you how this kind of tool, the compliance management tool can help you and how it can digitize all your tasks and it can reduce your manual intervention with the compliances, right? So the topic for today is navigating RBI mandate, leveraging technology to effectively manage compliances, right? So I'll be covering certain pointers. Before that, I'll be sharing this RBI uh, mandate as well. Right. So I'll go, just go to the RBI mandate. So this was the RBI mandate that was launched on 31st of January. The main functionality that RBI wanted to see was that it should have that all NBFC should have a comprehensive, integrated and enterprise wide solution to manage all their compliances. Why is it important? Because right now, many people are just working and managing their compliances through Excel sheets. But when you come to such a tool, you don't have to, you know, document anything in the Excel sheet. You don't receive any alerts. How do you come to know that there's any change in any compliances from the government's end? There are regular updates coming from RBI, RBI, RBI's end, as everybody knows about it, right? So you need to get, you need to be updated regarding those updates as well. So how do you do that? Through Excel, you cannot do that. But through such kind of a tool, you can do everything. You can receive alerts. You can receive all those updates, right? So this is the RBI guideline. Right. Coming back to the presentation. So what are the challenges that compliance management tool can uh, eliminate while you are managing your compliances? So there are plenty of compliances that are applicable to your industry vertical, maybe geographical location wise, or maybe whatever your industry you're working with, you must be having different compliances. So there's a vast scope of compliances. You must be having a lot of compliances that are applicable to your industry or maybe to your company. Now, New compliances will also come in existence, but how will you get uh, that notification that there's a new compliance and you need to comply that in a given uh, period of time? How do you know that there is any change in the due date? How do you know that there is any change in the current compliance that is applicable to your industry vertical? So these are the key pointers that you need to get notified for, right? 
and similarly technology is on a boom and every industry vertical is racing towards a technology so manual intervention is getting minimized as mo as most as possible right there's a robust growth in last few years in technology as well as the compliance management there are frequent updates as the four point suggests from the R IRDA or maybe from the RBI or any other regulatory authority there's a super change in IT landscape as well everybody is going towards IT landscape they need to match the race right so these are the challenges that we'll be talking about. Next is, this is the mandate that uh, RBI gave, right? First, that you need to have a very comprehensive dashboard. Why is a comprehensive dashboard important for everyone? So that the higher management who need to govern, who need to, you know, keep a track on all the compliances applicable being done or not. That is why you need to have a comprehensive dashboard. So I'll just show you how it looks like. A, a comprehensive dashboard will look like this. I'll just show you. Right. So I'll just go to that part. Right. So I'll just come to that comprehensive part as well. Next is the escalation part. So again, RBI said that you need to have the escalation authority as well. So why? First, if you are not having an escalation, like if there is a compliance that is not being done, that has not been completed on time, that who all should get notified about, about that particular compliance, that this particular user sitting in this geographical region has not completed that compliance, which might involve a lot of uh, a huge penalty or maybe imprisonment may, imprisonment may be involved. Next, next is document management. So again, the documents that you receive when you complete any particular compliance, the supporting documents, how do you keep them? How do you keep a track on them? Maybe you're keeping them handy, like a hard copy of it. But when you need to show it, when you need to present it to your higher management, how do you do that? So you can upload all those documents as well in the tool. So that won't be a problem. A huge storage will be provided to you where you can uh, upload all the supporting documents and then your maybe your management or maybe your manager can have a can review those documents and can decide that this compliance was done right or wrong. Next is that the, there's an end user who is supposed to complete a compliance. Then there's a reviewer or maybe an approver of that particular user. And then there, there can be the higher management. Like how do you communicate about any particular compliance? So we have tried to make it like these, these kind of tools are collaborative tools as well. You can put in your remarks, you can put in your custom notes. So all these things can also be done through such kind of a tool, right? And the main part is monitoring the dashboard. So that I have already covered. Next is, these were the RBI uh, guidelines that you need to follow. But what else, what all additional features do you get with such kind of a tool? You can, you get regular updates. As I said, if there's any change in the compliance, if there's any, you know, any change in the due date, or maybe an update has come that related to a compliance that is applicable to your industry vertical. How do you get to know about those updates? You need to go to the government's website on a regular basis. But if you're using such a tool, you can get all these updates here itself in the tool. This kind of a tool will notify you, right? Second is report builder. So again, presenting a report in front of all your higher management is really important. So like generating reports, units, unit wise, maybe compliance wise, maybe user wise, you can generate any kind of report in a click away and you can just showcase it to you, showcase it to your higher management, right? Then. This, these kind of a tool, like our tool, Manu Comply, it has a maker and a checker mat matrix. As I said, the end user will be completing the compliances, he'll be uploading the supporting documents, and then he will have an approver who's going to review that particular document and who's going to approve it or reject it. If it gets rejected, obviously the end user needs to complete it again in a proper manner. But it, if it's approved, it, it's reviewed, then it is done properly. Then the uh, manual mistakes are eliminated, right? It's a two level function. Again, as I said, document management. So you get enough, enough cloud storage where you can store all the documents and you can have a track of all the documents. Everything will be in at one place. You can find any supporting document in a click away against all those compliances, right? Last is easy to use. So I'll just, I'll just show you the tool that we have. We call it Manu Compliance. I'll show you how easy it is for the end users. Not everyone is tech friendly. So we have tried to make it as easy as possible, right? So these are the additional features that you receive when you uh, use such kind of a tool. Next is ideal compliance management uh, partner. So understand your process. You need to understand the process of how you need to complete the compliance, when you need to complete the compliance, what is the due date, 
what are the what are the functions that you need to do to complete any compliance right uh, post implementation support so if you're taking such a compliance from any vendor maybe us so you need to have a support as well you need to have regular training for the end users that is also one point that you receive if you use such kind of a tool update management you can have the generic updates are coming from the government's end you can have the uh, specific updates as well that are impacting compliances applicable to specifically your company or maybe your industry vertical so these are the management uh, this these are services that you receive from the management partners let's say maybe us in this case right so i'll just show my tool now that's called manu compliant i'll just start doing that This is our tool. We call it Manu Compliant, right? It's a SaaS based product. It's, it's on Azure Cloud, right? So we initially what we are gonna do or what we are gonna do with this tool is we are gonna set we are gonna set up your entire organization structure. So you must be having different units in different lo geographical locations, and in those units you must be having different departments with different users who are supposed to complete the compliances related to their uh, department. Maybe the IT people are uh, completing compliances to IT related uh, scenarios. HR are completing HR related compliances and then they must be having their different approvals as well, right? So when we click on this sign up, so we cover all the regulatory authorities that are applicable in India. So let's say in your case, I'll just take up if, if RBI is applicable, so we'll be just selecting RBI and all the RBI related compliances will come in your master checklist where our compliance team will sit with your legal team and with collaboration, we'll be identifying the compliances that are actually applicable to your company as a whole. This is a process. You need to give your intervention. We need to give our feedbacks. And then finally, all the compliances that are applicable will be assigned to your company as a whole without missing any compliance. So that is not a worry that you might miss any compliance, right? Similarly, if any new compliance is coming up that is applicable to your industry vertical, we'll be giving you support for that as well. Similarly, we'll be setting up your entire organization first. Once done, this will be the dashboard. When we when you log in as an admin, this will be the dashboard. Here, you can see like the higher management maybe or the admin can see all the fee, all the information readily available on the dashboard itself. So these are different widgets, the compliance trend, you can flip it. You can see the numeric values. If you want to generate reports, you can do that from here itself. What are the tasks that you need to perform, right? This calendar is also very dynamic. This is syncable with your Google calendar. So why is it dynamic and important? All the information is available on the calendar that how many are non-compliance for this day, how many are upcoming compliance for the coming days, how many are rejected compliance that, that has been rejected by the approver. They might have not done it properly, that's where. Similarly, we have different widgets like what all penalties are involved, what all law categories you cover, right? What all industry verticals, what all units you have. So all these information is available on the dashboard itself. You don't need to go anywhere else. You have all the information, how many are completed, how many are non-compliance, how many are upcoming compliance. So all this is available here itself, right? So as I said initially that you will be, we'll be setting up your entire organization and then you will have this master checklist where we'll be identifying the compliances. So at first, I covered the dashboard. That is, that is the RBI's first mandate that they wanted to give, that you need to have a comprehensive dashboard, right? I've shown the dashboard, right? This will be the dashboard for the admin. Then this will be the dashboard for the end user. His dashboard will be completely different. His dashboard will only contain information related to the compliances that have been assigned to him. Similarly, this will be the uh, uh, approvers dashboard. So his dashboard, again, it's going to be completely different depending on all the compliances that have been sent to him for his approval or rejection. But the admin or maybe the higher faculty in your case will have the entire view of all the compliances that have been completed, delayed, rejected, upcoming. So everything will be available here itself, right? Then we have another login as well. So that is the top management's login. So this will be the top management's login and you can give it to anyone in your management. So whosoever you want to govern or, you know, have a, have a bird's eye view of all the compliances or what is going on with the compliances that have been assigned to the end users. So this covers the first part of the RBI mandate. So now I'll show you the second part of RBI mandate. So it is document management. So when you come back to the tool, 
like if you're completing any compliance the end user has completed a compliance and he has uploaded a supporting document you keep it handy like a hard copy but in this tool you can simply upload it and you can find it here your document proofs or maybe the document lists so all the supporting documents that we have uploaded will be available here against every compliance you can anytime open them and you can have a view of it being the higher management or maybe the top management right this is the second rbi mandate that you need to have and for that we'll be providing you with uh, storage as well the cloud storage right next the third point is centralized repository so we have this centralized repository for all the compliances once we have assigned regulatory authorities to your industry vertical then you will have the centralized repository for all the compliances from where you as you see that these are the rbi related compliances you can anytime assign these to your company from here itself right so now coming back to the fourth the escalation process so here you if there are compliances which involves high penalties or maybe imprisonment is involved and you want to set escalation levels that if this particular user has not completed such a compliance that who, who all should get notified in your higher management so from here to this tool you can generate you can create escalation levels as well like you can put any person in this escalation level maybe that your higher authority and you can even define the uh, frequency that if at this time the compliance is not completed then who all should receive this mail who all should get notified so with this tool you can create these escalation levels as well as per your convenience you can create any escalation level and you can assign it to any user or maybe any unit and if anyone from that unit or maybe that user is not completing any compliance that will get notified to all the people all the people who whom you are added in the escalation hierarchy right then the fifth is the report builder this is a major concern for most of the people who are, who are uh, uh, doing their uh, compliances or completing their compliances manually this is a major feature and a concern so through such kind of a tool you can generate uh, reports as well in just one click you just need to click on this report section and you can generate any kind of report be it unit wise be it st state wise internal unit wise even compliance wise you can do that you just need to select this filter and you can just export it to excel or export it to pdf in a click away so your re reporting to the higher management becomes easy very easy right if you want to generate a customizable report you can do that as well through the report builder you just need to select which all headers you want and what information related to these headers you want so maybe the impact if i select the impact equal to maybe high i just want to see who what are the high impacting uh, compliances and then i want to see what are the rules or maybe what is the status of these compliances so i can just add this that from here and then i can preview so my report is ready from here and i can anytime export it to excel or export it to pdf from here or maybe ppt so again you can generate your customized customized reports as well from such kind of a tool right coming back to the dashboard so this, as I said, this is the admins dashboard. We'll have a complete view, right? Then another major feature is, as I said, that if there are some compliance impact uh, updates coming from the government's website, how will you get to know about those impacts? How will you get that there is any change in the compliance that I am supposed to complete? How will you do that? So you can simply click on this update impacting compliances and you will get all the updates from here. As you can see, it is updated today itself, 10th of May, 2024. So this is, this is how fast our tool works. Right, so you won't miss out on any compliance. Let's say the due date is tomorrow, but the, there's a change today, so it's getting updated on the very day, right? And if you want to see what the particular change is, just, just click on this I button, and you will have a comparative view. Like what was the update earlier, and what is the current update? So you have a comparative view. Like you can compare what are the changes. Maybe there's a change in the due date. Maybe there's a change in the penalty. So you can anytime come to the tool and check that. Our tool is going to provide you with all the all the updates impacting compliances to your industry vertical or maybe to your organization, right? So this this is the uh, update part that I was showing, right? Just a second, there's a problem with my cursor. Right. right. So, right, so these are the updates that you're going to receive on a regular basis. Now, if you want to receive the generic updates as well, generic updates that are coming from the government side, which may be or may not be useful to you, you can have those updates as well. So these are the generic updates, again, updated today. So you can have a view of these as well.
So this is the update from RBI that was released on. So you can see these updates from here itself. When you, these are these links, all these links are updated. So you don't have to worry about the how frequent or how fast the tool gets updated regarding these uh, 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 updates coming from the RBI's end maybe, right? So this might take a bit time because it is fetching data from the uh, government's end. Once done, you'll be able to see the entire update and the entire document in the tool itself, right? So this is the update part, another major feature that you need to have. Now, sometimes a company or maybe your company may, might have an internal compliance as well. So you can even create those internal compliances and you can simply assign those compliances to the end users and then they will have to complete it. Escalation levels I've covered. You can create n number of escalation levels. You can add people, higher authorities in those escalation levels who will get notified if the compliance is not getting covered. Reports, any kind of reports can be generated such a tool in from, from such a tool, right? So this is the admin portal. Now, I'll, as I said initially that I'll tell you how easy this tool is for the end users to work on. So this is a user login, right? Who is supposed to complete the compliances? Maybe the admin has assigned compliances to him, right? What he needs to do is he just needs to come to this compliance statutory task where he'll see all the compliances that have been assigned to him, right? So these are the compliances that have been assigned to him with the risk involved. Everything is shown here itself. If you want to see additional information, maybe the regulation, maybe that also you can see. You just need to customize your fields. So if you want to see any other thing, you can just uh, select it from here and you'll have all those information readily available here. Now, how does an end user complete a compliance? Now he has done it offline. Now he needs to come here and update the tool. It's very easy. He just needs to come to his statutory task, click on this update button. Here he'll get all the information. What was the actual due date, right? And what is the actual completion date? Maybe he has completed the compliance today but he's updating the tool at a later stage. So he can put the actual completion date from here and he can simply upload his supporting documents from here, write a remark for the approval and just click on submit. From his hand, the compliance is completed. That's the only task that the end user is supposed to do. This is that friendly, this tool. Similarly, when we come to the approvers uh, uh, portal, so this, is, this will be the approver for this particular user. Now, once the user has completed the compliance, it will come to the approver for his approval or rejection. Similarly, the approver needs to come to his statutory task. Again, he can he, even he can filter down the compliances. And from here, what the approver needs to do. Now the approver is not aware what this particular compliance is all about. The end user has completed it. So the approver can simply click on this I button and he'll have all these relevant information available in front of him regarding this particular compliance. What are the compliance details? What is the, What was the task involved? that the end user was supposed to do. So if it's five times showing here, that means the, the end user needs to complete this compliance five times in uh, annual year. If there is any legislative reference, you can use that. What is the risk involved? So if the risk is high, this means that there must be a penalty involved of more than 50,000 or maybe imprisonment. So you can even see the penalty from there. So now the approval has gone through all the details. Now we can see what the end user has done in relation to this particular compliance. And he can approve it or reject it. Simply click on this update but take action button. Now he'll see the compliance ID. He'll see which user has completed it, on which date, what was the actual due date. If any remarks given by the end user, he can do that as well. So as I said, we have tried to make it as a collaborative tool as well, right? Now, this is the document that has been uploaded by that, this, that particular end user, right? He can view, view that particular document. Once done, once the approver has gone through all these uh, information, he can put in a remark done right or maybe done wrong and just he can just uh, click on approve or reject now the compliance is completed and similarly the on a real time basis the admins dashboard will keep on changing right so this is that first so i've shown you all the three uh, portals now that one for the admin who's going to have a complete bird's eye view of all the compliances, what are the tasks, what are the risks involved, what all industry verticals you have, what all geographical locations you cover, right? How many are non-compliance, how many are rejected, what are the legal updates? Legal updates are available here as well. Informative updates and impact updates, these are two different things. Impact updates mean up, uh, updates that are impacting compliances that are applicable to your company as a whole, right? Informative updates are generic updates. 
as has, as I've shown earlier as well, I'll show it to you again. So the first one we have seen just now, so the color changes. So it also gives you this notification that you've gone through the first one. Now, if you want to see the second one as well, you can just simply click on this I button. Again, you'll have a comparative view of the complete uh, compliance. What is the change? Right. So all these information are left available at all levels with the admin, with the approver, and with the end user as well. You can upload documents, you can uh, uh, create escalation hierarchies, you can assign tasks, you can create internal compliances, you can, from here, you can even, you know, uh, uh, set up your own organization. So you can create different units, n number of units, and maybe in those units, you can create different departments. In those departments, you can have a different list of users. Maybe someone is the approver, someone is the end user, someone is the unit head, someone is the admin. So you can have different type of users as well. So this is how you set up your entire tool in which our team will be helping you at the time of setup, right? So this is all about the compliance management tool that uh, I wanted to tell you about. I have covered all the RBI guidelines. So all these five guidelines that are the major ones that you need to adhere with are available in this tool. So if you're still using these Excel sheets for your uh, compliance management, please, I would suggest that you need to go to this technology and this might help you a lot in your compliance management. So I'll just uh, give it over to Abhay and I'll take up your questions now. Thank you. It was an informative session for everyone. If there are any queries, please leave them in the chat window. We also have, we we'll also sh show our contact ID. So after this demo, if there are any queries, if you want to further discuss, or if you want to have a one-on-one -on -one session on how this particular tool will solve the problems that you're facing in terms of compliance management, or you want to have, uh, you want to adhere to the RBI guidelines, how this system will help you. So if you have any questions like that, uh, you can drop them here or you can connect with us at contact at the rate Manupata Dushan's ID is also here or you can call him on this number. We'll be happy to have a one-on-one -on -one session also as in when required. I just, we'll just stop the screen right now. Uh, if you have, you can drop them in the chat window or you can contact us separately over phone or on the email so that we can take it forward from here. We do have something. Does it help in prepare the list of tasks that I need to take care for my compliance? Yes, yes, Manu Kamna, we have this tool. So initially what will happen is we have a team of 40 plus executives that works in different, different sectors. So there will be somebody that is taking care of compliances. So this is a demo for banking sector. So somebody who is taking care of banking sector and NBFCs in particular, they'll be assigned to your company. They'll be giving you an insight on what kind of an NBFC are you. So based on that, they'll be assigning you like these are the kind of compliances. These are, these are the kind of state compliance that will be applicable to you. And there will be a one-on-one -on -one discussion and interview round. After that, there will be questionnaires also. After that, thorough analysis and with the permission of uh, the concerned team, we'll be populating a checklist into the... also be assigning the users. So once the checklist is done, suppose there is somebody from the HR team who does HR-related work or labor-related compliances or somebody is from the tax team who does the GST-related compliances. So we'll be creating those users and assigning them those particular compliances. So you get a dashboard that is ready for you. Most of this is ready in the shelf. So many a times because the NBFC or the RBI guideline for 31st June is very close. So there is sometimes an provision like people ask us whether it can be done on time or not. So depending on whatever is the requirement from you, what, how soon we get a response from you. So this can be, this is, a, this is a ready from the shelf product. There is some customization required based on your requirement, but that can also be done. So we can discuss on this further. All, okay, Rishabh sir is asking us, can you explain the all applicable policy? So this is a little, 
broad for this webinar. So what we can do is if there is a requirement from your side, we can have somebody from the uh, compliance team, the compliance uh, that track updates and everything. We can have a one-on-one -on -one session on discussing the applicable policies and applicable list of laws. So we can have that session. Does it suggest compliance? Yes. So basically the job of that tool is the same to suggest compliances. So as soon as there is a compliance figure, it has to be done quarterly, weekly, or it has to be done annually. So it will be triggering those alerts to you. Sri Charan sir is asking an important question on how much is the uh, tool cost? So the tool cost uh, depends on sir your requirements actually. So this is uh, how we have positioned it. So uh, like in which, uh, which are the regulatory authorities that will be applicable to you? How many states that you are working in. So there are multiple uh, variables that we take into consideration for taking our compliances. For that, sir, what we would request is a one-on-one -on -one session where we can discuss with you what is your existing company looking like, what are the different things. So one thing is uh, particular about this tool that is not there with any other tool. We are giving unlimited users. So there is no limitation on how many users you can create. So you can create multiple logins for different team members or if you are starting a new, like uh, you are starting a new grant somewhere and you want to have new logins, so that can also be done without incurring further cost. Uh, Sharmila ma'am is asking, are we registered with the GEM portal? The answer is yes. We are, Manu Patra products are registered with the GEM portal. Again, for that, you can reach out to us at contact at the rate Manu Patra. So if you want to procure it, because many a times government agencies have to procure it from a GEM portal. So they can reach out to, you can reach out to us at contact at the rate Manu Patra will help you in terms of guiding how to find us and how to register for this product. Okay, right. So I think these were the questions. So again, I'll just emphasize again. So if you have any other questions, I'll just We'll just keep it open the uh, dashboard right now you can just uh, note down the number or you can note down the email id and you can give us a mail so that we are very responsive in both of these contact at the rate manu patra and on this mobile number so anytime there is any other query or you want to discuss something else regarding compliances or regarding any other tool also which is a contract management or litigation management we'll be happy to help you or guide you in terms of what is the best solution that you might need for your organization. Um, thank you for your time for this session. So I think most of the people who have joined in, they stayed till the last. That means that they were able to get some kind of um, value from this demonstration. Uh, thank you. Again, if you have any other further queries, you can reach out to us at these email IDs and just keeping this screen open for some time so that people can note it down. Okay. Thank you.